Before we learn more about the Saroban abacus, let us learn the different components of the abacus. The abacus consists of the frame, a horizontal bar called the beam or counting bar, vertical rods, also known as column rods. There are five beads in each column rod, four below the counting bar, known as the lower beads and is worth one, one above the counting bar, known as the upper bead and is worth five. The white dots on the counting bar are known as unit point and they are used to set the unit column. Once you set the unit column, the column to the left of the unit's rod becomes the tens rod and the one to its left becomes the hundreds and so on. You can use any of the white dots as your unit point. Now that you're familiar with the components of the abacus, let me show you how to prepare an abacus for counting. The abacus is prepared by pushing all the beads on both the upper and lower decks away from the counting bar, setting the value of the abacus to zero. To start displaying your numbers on the abacus, let's start with any of the white dots which will be your unit column rod. On the unit rod, move one lower bead up to touch the counting bar. This is one. Move another lower bead up with two beads touching the counting bar. This is two. Move two more lower beads up with four beads touching the counting bar now. The total is four. Easy, isn't it? Let's try something else now. If you move one upper bead down in your unit rod to touch the counting bar, this is five. If you move one lower bead up to touch the counting bar, this results in five plus one, which is six. If you move all beads in your unit column to touch the counting bar, it is five plus four, which is nine. Great! Let's now try ten. Now, remember, the column rod left to the unit rod represents your tens column. So all you have to do is move one lower bead in your tens column to depict the number 10. That's it! Since you are now a master of the basics, let's try something harder. Count 3276 using the abacus. Start with the 1000 column, which is the fourth rod to the left of the unit point. Move three lower beads up to touch the counting bar. This is 3,000. Now move one step right to the third rod, the 100s column. Move two lower beads up. This is 200. Another step to the right takes us to the second rod, the 10s column. Move one upper bead down and two lower beads up. This is 70. 50 plus 10 and another 10. And one last step to the right. We're on the first rod, the unit column. Move one upper bead down and one lower bead up. This is six, five plus one. Now count the abacus. You will have 3,000 plus 200 plus 70 plus six, which is 3,276. Simple, isn't it? Let me show you some basic calculations using the abacus. Let's try one plus two. Move one lower bead up on the unit rod. This is one. Now to add two, move two more lower beads up on the same rod. This is two. We have one plus two, which is three. Let's try two plus six. Move two lower beads up on the unit rod. This is two. Four plus six, move one upper bead down, which is five, and one lower bead up. This is six. If we now add all the beads in our unit rod, it is five plus three, which is eight. You're warming up. Now, let's go big. Let's try 365 
plus 531. For 365, move 3 lower beads up on the 100 rod, 1 upper bead down and 1 lower bead up on the 10th rod and 1 upper bead down on the unit rod. This is 365. For plus 531, move 1 upper bead down on the 100th rod, 3 lower beads up on the 10th rod and 1 lower bead up on the unit rod. If we now add all the beads touching our counting bar, it is 8, 9, 6. So the answer is 896. Woohoo! Next, let's try subtraction. Now let's try 74 minus 21. Move one upper bead down and two lower beads up on the 10th rod and four lower beads up on the unit rod. This is 74. For minus 21, move two lower beads down on the 10th rod and one lower bead down on the unit rod. If you read the numbers left on your abacus, it is 50 and 3. The answer is 53. Let's try something big. 836 minus 521. For 836, move one upper bead down and three lower beads up on the 100 rod. Three lower beads up on the 10th rod and one upper bead down with one lower bead up on the unit rod. This is 836. To subtract 521, move one upper bead up on the 100 rod, two lower beads down on the 10th rod, and one lower bead down on the unit rod. You now have 300 and 10 and 5 left on your abacus. So the answer is 315. That was fun, wasn't it? I hope you found these examples fun and easy to understand. Our uniquely structured module includes more complex problem solving, including multiplication, square roots, and much more, to request for more information or if you have any questions. Thank you, and I can't wait for our friendship to continue.